a special edition of Channel 6 Scoreboard. I'm Kelsey Williams and I'm joined as usual by Michael and Mitchell. How's it going? Guys, welcome back from the road trip. From the yeah. road trip, the five hour road trip. Hey, it was a speedy road trip. All in one day. Because I drove, thank you very much. We had a great yeah, time. Awful road rage. Yeah. What are you doing in the right lane? Plenty of awful drivers out there, don't uh, worry. I took care of them, it's all right. It was, it was a great trip with you guys. Thanks for We even honked at the bus on the way back. Yeah, we did. I gave you spent an hour trying to tweet at them. <laughs> Oh, so much fun. fun. But anyway, let's talk about the game. Okay. We were there, we went to the tailgate early. Very good atmosphere out there. Well, I was, Northwestern State had a great atmosphere. Good tailgating grounds, flat area, football field. Fans. Plenty of smokers, plenty of barbecue going on. Good times. They were playing a lot of weird games too. Well, the game where the people were trying to make the ball into this little hoop. It a lot was, of grandpas uh, and yeah. dads out. But no, it was a good environment. But let's stick to the game now. What about the story of the night? Taylor Reed, starting quarterback, went down. Mm -hmm. Luckily, for the Bears, they had a second quarterback able to step up for them, Hayden Hildebrand. How does he much time playing time lately? But he really did step up. Let's talk about him a bit. What did you think? Well, he just looked really composed in the pocket. He didn't look like a backup quarterback. If people came to that game late, they could have thought, wow, they have a great starting quarterback. Just the way he looked composed, he made accurate throws. I don't think his, his completion rating was really good. And there was a couple of plays where he looked at the sideline and he said, you know, what, what play is this? But overall, it seemed like he knew the playbook very well. And lucky for him, UCA kind of dials in on those short passes to where the, the receivers work on getting yards after the catch, which makes the quarterback look really good. But he played really well, and I'm, I'm great. I'm happy to look forward to the future and think this guy can actually lead UCA to win some games. He didn't look like a second-string quarterback at all. No, no right unfortunate there. injury to Taylor Reed, but... The way that Hayden Hildebrand came in and the Bears didn't skip a beat, it helps when you come in and you're already up 18 to nothing. That eases the pressure, but he did nothing to make you wonder what this team will be like this coming week. And the way he played four or five incomplete passes, and they weren't bad misses. It was a good throw away or two where he couldn't find a receiver, throw it out of bounds, don't take a sack, don't take a loss. Another one, he just missed Jacquez McMillan two plays later. He hits him on the same route, and Jacquez takes it to the house. Overall, I thought he did a great job. The offense looks fine, and that was their best show to date. So I think that confidence from that game will definitely help. And UCA has done this before. It's like this, it's almost like the same story over and over again. Another quarterback coming in, they just have to do well, their it's job. The third road, road game in a row now that they have played, yeah. and they seem to just keep on improving every time. They, that's, they're used to the road games now. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird they're playing at home. Yeah. It's weird for us that we get to stay here. They're probably going to be they're going to be weirded out by playing on a purple and gray field. They're like, what yeah. the heck is this? Well, at least they've been practicing on it. That's one good thing. Yeah. So practice. They're going to work in their way and see how they're going to. Take on Abilene Christian this weekend. What are they going to do to be able to take on Abilene Christian and defeat them? Because last season they played at a neutral yes. site and they got a little bit upset. <laughs> yeah, they have revenge on their minds from last season. Of course, in that game they had seven turnovers, and you're never going to win if you have seven turnovers. But I think the momentum. Um, Coach Campbell and I talked in our coaches, coaches show. They've improved from week one to week two to week three. They had a bye week in between as well, so week one, two, and four. This team keeps getting better, and that's what you want to see from a football team. And I think that's the st it's credit to the staff, and that's credit to the players as well, because they they knew they 0-2, but they knew they had a new season in conference play. And now they're 1-0, and they have revenge on their minds. But Abilene Christian is a sneaky team, and uh, someone last yep. year called the upset. And I'll give him props; he called it. So it, it should be a fun game to watch. I think it's going to. You know, I think the receivers are going to have to play well. They're going to have to realize that Taylor Reed is out, and Hildebrand is the person they're going to have to focus on and back him up. I think the defense has to take the momentum they had in the game against Northwestern State and play just as good as they did that game. One key group to focus on the defense is the secondary because Abilene Christian has a couple of receivers that can just burn you. They like to take it to the house. The quarterback makes accurate throws. So look for Bobby Watkins, Dylan Winfrey, all of them to have a great game. If they can do that and force some turnovers, I think UCA has a good chance to win. Well, if they can play this good on the road, you think that when they come home, yep. they're really going to nurture in and play better than we haven't seen them play all year. They'll be so excited. Also, you have you know the freshmen and the young guys. This will be their first home game. Then you have your seniors. This is their first home game of their final year. First so last there's going to that's right. This is going to be super emotional. And with the revenge factor, and hey, you're one to know in conference. If you beat Northwestern State on the road, and then you can take care of Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian, I think at the end of the season, could be one of the top three teams in the Southland Conference. That'd be a huge win to get them going further down the season. All right, guys, give me a score prediction then. They won on the road. They've had two road games now. They're coming, finally coming back home. How are they going to go? This is your game. Come on. Uh, I think UCA is going to win. I think it's going to be close. I think um, they're going to have the ball the last minute or so in the fourth quarter, drive down the field 
score a game-winning touchdown. Fan goes, fans go crazy and everything. 35-28 UCA. 35-28. I like it. I like it. Okay. Uh, last week at Northwestern State, I said the defense enforced three turnovers. They did. They, they got, got two. two. <laughs> oh, well, they got Special teams yeah. got the other one that hit off the foot we'll of the Northwestern like State. But hey, it's three, right? So defense, same thing. I'm, I'll call. Why not? Three turnovers by the defense. Parker McKenzie, one of those being late as Abilene is going down to either tie or take the lead. Bears win 37-34. The defense keeps the mojo going. Well, I'm not going to give you a score prediction because, oh, okay. I mean, I'm already two no, I'm good, good at that because ah. I got the closest score last time. <laughs> you said two and I won like four. Yeah, well, it was close, the closest. Okay. That's right. Right. So Without I'm just going to call a bit of a special play instead. I'm going to say that Hayden Hildebrand passes the ball off to Blake Beasley who goes for an 80-yard touchdown. 80-yard touchdown. Yeah, just runs right through to the end. Well, at least somebody's going to get close to 100 yards rushing. I hope we need somebody or two. <laughs> well, thanks, Michael, and thanks, Rachel, for joining us. That's been another special edition of Channel 6 Scoreboard. If you want to tune into UCA football, it's on at 6 p.m. on Saturday, and we'll see you again next time.